Welcome to Writing Hypothesis Test for Proportion. The proportion of students who are involved in extracurricular activities is 61%. So first of all, we have to write the claim in words so we know what we're testing. We're testing a claim about a proportion and our inequality or equality is going to be is 61%. So I'm writing down that first. Since we're testing a claim about a proportion, we're going to use the population proportion symbol P. Now our inequality here is going to be the proportion is. Is is going to indicate the symbol equal to. The equal to symbol, since it does obviously contain equality, is going to be written with our, our null hypothesis H sub 0. So this is going to be P equals to our population parameter is 61% or 0.61. Remember, our claim is going to go with our null hypothesis since it contains equality. Remember, our alternative hypothesis is the complement, or if it's not equal to. So, well, that's pretty easy. If it's not equal to, it's not equal to. And P is going to equal not equal to 0.61. So our alternative is P is not equal to 0.61. A couple other things to note here is our underlying assumption. We're going to then assume our claimed proportion is going to be p sub 0 equals 0.61. We will use that later on in our calculations. Also note here our alternative hypothesis h sub a since it's not equal to, this is going to indicate a two-tail test. Part B, it's very, very similar. It says a school publicizes that the proportion of its students who are involved in extracurricular activities is not 61%. So here you're going to say that the proportion is not 61%. So we're testing a claim about our proportion again, and we've included the, the inequality component. So our, our proportion is going to again use the P symbol, is not equal to, is going to use the not equal to symbol, and that means our claim is now going to go with our alternative hypothesis. So H sub A should be P is not equal to 0.61. So that means our h sub 0 is going to contain, contain equality, so it's going to be p equals 2.61. Let me change that to blue here. Got to make it look, look right. Okay. Now, also we can note here, since our h sub 0 is our equality, that means that's our underlying assumption. We're going to assume that the claimed proportion p sub 0 is equal to 0.61. We're going to use that in, again in our calculations. And our alternative hypothesis, since it's not equal to, is also going to be a two-tail test. The only difference between these two problems is the fact that in part A, the claim went, went with the null hypothesis, and in B, the claim went with the alternative hypothesis.